Hello, good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening, good evening. No problem. Good evening. Hello. Well, we are just waiting for everybody to connect. Let's hope everybody connects soon. Well, well, well. Today's class is going to be interesting. Well, well, let me text everybody to remind them that it's time. Karen, Karen, Karen. Oh, there's Karen, the serene. Hello, Karen. Hello, teacher. How are you? Uh, the Camino. <laughs> On my way. On my way. Well, welcome to the class. Thank you. You can just be listening. Let me know when you get home, okay? Okay. Because today is going to be interesting, interesting. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, Am 
Marvin is also on his way. And we're gonna see what can we do right now. Oh, there's a tennis. Hello, Atenas, how are you? Hello, good evening. Good evening, how are you? I can only say that thank you, God, it's Friday. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was Thanks, ahead God. Thanks, God. Thanks, God. Thanks, Gal. It's Friday. Okay. I want a heavy week. Oh, really? Okay, okay, okay. You have a heavy week? No, you do nothing. Just going driving around San Salvador, relax. Es estresante conducir. Ahorita está horrible el tráfico. I can just imagine. Okay. Let me see that everybody's sending me messages right now, and we need to quiet down that thing. Oh, man, what's happening here? Yeah, traffic is terrible. Oh, it's been payday. Una hora it's... con quince en tráfico. One hour fifteen. And usually it takes you? Um, 30 minutes. Oh yeah, there's a big difference. It's a big, big difference. Yes. Okay, let me just check on something. We are missing just six classes, right? And calculating time with these people, you know, with your classmates. And it's complex. So one hour, 30 minutes. Wow. It's a lot. It's a lot. And in my case, it takes me 30 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah actually it is. Actually, it is. It is nice because I mean, uh, I can, I can make it fast. And, and you know, it's it's good because in the morning, I mean, I, I can sleep a little bit more. If I have to travel to San Salvador, man, I will be crying. Because, I mean, my son, when he goes to, to classes at the university, it takes, he, he leaves home around five or quarter to five in order to be there at uh, seven. And by car. Very busy. Yeah, it is. It is. And, and you know, the thing right now is this, that uh, he's, uh, he just learned how to drive. No. He just learned how to drive, but 
uh, he's not like confident. Todavía no se siente muy seguro. Because I mean, there's the car and, and, and uh, we usually we have two cars. Because sometimes I have to, to, to use it. But he needs to, to practice a little bit more. He needs to practice and and that's the problem is that I don't have time to help him practice. You know, I'm always working. The only time I can make him practice is like uh, Sundays. And uh, like tomorrow, you know, he's got uh, an event and he will have to drive. Sí. He's a little bit nervous because I cannot take him and I'm going to be out of San Salvador and he's got an activity from from Indes. Mm. So eso me pasa a mí. Yo recién aprendí a manejar. Oh. Tengo poco tiempo. Y igual me pongo nerviosa todavía. Yeah. Y, y casi no practico. Generalmente los sábados a cortar. That's the problem. You need to practice. You need to practice because otherwise, oof, it's it's difficult. Sí. Por eso es que quizás me estresa todavía el tráfico. Siempre ando buscando rutas donde no hay el tráfico. I'm sorry, would you mind repeating, please? Que a mí me estresa el tráfico, entonces siempre busco rutas mm. alternas para evitarlo. To avoid it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Uh, no. You know, in my case, uh, in my case, you know, traffic doesn't stress me. To be honest, it doesn't. Yeah, I mean, I don't have that problem. Okay, let's see. Wow, Angelica cannot connect. Who's my day? Oh, I know who's that one. Let's see. Yeah, no, uh, I have stayed in traffic like for three hours. No problem for me. I don't get stress. Not really. In carretera, uh, sí. Es bien no. Yeah, of course. You know, I like driving at night. Ah, también. And I like driving when it rains. It relaxes me. Mm. Yeah, I like driving. I mean, it's cool. Okay. But uh, you gotta be careful when, I mean, when we drive, we gotta be very, very careful. Sí, sobre todo con las motocicletas. Porque de repente ya las tiene uno a la par y no la ve. Oh, what is your problem with motorcycles? Motorcycles is cool. Lo que pasa es que se se avientan casi. En el carril. Uh -huh, uh -huh, o sea, uh -huh. yeah, but you know, you know, you know. Uh, You gotta be careful always, all the time. And the problem with motorcycles is that we get a blind spot. The problem is punto ciego. That's what you gotta be careful with. Because mm -hmm. otherwise, I mean, you can have a problem. I mean, you can hit someone. 
and uh, and that's I mean yeah and you say some people is very aggressive on the street that's the problem but some people are very very aggressive see sí. okay let's see I'm sorry Atenas it's just that I got some of your classmates telling me that they are not connecting to class and I am checking the minutes and you know this is complex complex let's see Let's see, in this case, no problem, no problem. Okay, who's Kate? Okay. This is... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, well, let's see. Uh, thank you very much, Atenas. Thanks for your patience and welcome to the class. Thank you. Uh, thanks to you. Let's see, Xiomara, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. I fine, thank you, and you? I'm just fine, just fine, you know. Very good. Yeah, a little bit of a headache. A little um, bit of a headache, no, but I have a, I had a little bit of a headache, but no big problem. No, this, no. Que casi no lo escucho, teacher. No lo escuché. Muy bien. Mm, let's see. No, but my microphone is almost to the end. I told you that I had a little bit of a headache, but no big problem. Okay, teacher. What about you? How was your day? Um, my day, um, very good. Nice. And, uh, usually, um, lo de every day in mi, in mi work. The same routine. The same routine. Ah, mi routine, ah, exacto, mi rutina de siempre. Okay. Yeah. That's, well, you know, sometimes it's good and it's Friday. Well, do you work tomorrow and Sunday? Do you work the weekend? Mm. Pues, um, en una reunión de ahora nos dijeron que mañana relax. Tomorrow, relax. Oh, really? Aunque, aunque siempre I work, in, I work the, desde house. Eh, pendientes con la sucursal de siempre. Oh, really? ¿Mm? Okay, well, it's good. I mean, if you're going to be, if you're going to have a slow day, it's nice. Eso sí no lo entendí. If you have a good day, 
a slow day, it's nice. Que tenga un día tranquilo es bueno. Um, que tenga un día tranquilo. Mañana. The fact of you having a slow day is nice. El hecho de que tenga un día tranquilo es bueno. Ah, yes, teacher. Uh, you know, you know. Let's see, let's see. Thank you very much, Yomara, and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, 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 well. Let me get the attendance so I can get rid of this and I can be sure who's here and who's not. Okay. Perfect. Um, okay, perfect, perfect. Let's see, Rebecca, good evening. Oh, sorry, sorry. I need to get the attendance, I'm sorry. Ana Maritza Flores. Present. Thank you. Angelica Guadalupe Tobar. Braulio Enrique Hernández Sosa. Brian Alexander Rivas Sánchez. Claudia Teresa Flamenco. Elisa Saraí Martínez Ramírez. Presentation. Esmeralda Lisbeth Vázquez Silva. Gabriela Guadalupe Celaya Sayas. Karen de Sire Menjibar de Sánchez. Uh, Catherine Beatriz Morales Calzadilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Katia Estefanía Pineda Alvarado. María Teresa González de Lemos. Marvin Gabriel Romero Cubillas. Got you, got you, no problem. He's in the bus right now. Okay, Milton Antonio García Castellano. Mirna Atenas Vanega Zamora. Present. Rebeca del Carmen Morales Molina. Present teacher. Víctor Manuel Reyes Carvajal and Xiomara Chamilet Mendoza Mendoza. Present teacher. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. Hmm. Well, Rebecca, hello, good evening, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Um, very good. How's everything? How was your day? My day, my day was fantastic. Fantastic. That's nice. Yeah. Excellent. What did you do? Um, this, this day, uh -huh. um, how do you say, salí temprano? I finished early. I finished early. Right, G. I finish it early. I finish it early. Yeah. Or you can say, uh, you can say, 
también puedo decir I check out I check out early I checked out early I checked out early do um, um, how do you say um, llegaron los jefes uh -huh. the, the boss um, of my work um, nos invitaron they invited us oh really sí. yes that's nice that's nice pizza <laughs> oh cool I like pizza yes because um how do you say um sorry salimos mm. tell me the whole sentence dígame la oración bye sorry salimos en las ventas del mes pasado okay mm -hmm. in that case it's like this Uh, we stood out in last month sales. We stood out in last month sales. Okay. We we stood out. We are stood out in last month sale. That's nice. That's very nice. Oh, well, uh, congratulations. Thank you, teacher. Nice having you here. Because yeah, I... Yeah. I am happy. Oh, no, no, no. Because? No, look. That's why I'm happy. That's why. Y por eso. That's why I'm happy. Why I, I happy. That's nice. Excellent. Congratulations and welcome. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Katia, you home already or not yet? Okay, guys, well, let's see. Tonight's class is going to be very interesting, and we are going to be very patient because uh, some of your classmates are like uh, still on their way home. Okay, and let's see. Shimara is available, Atenas, Rebecca, Marvin is in the bus. Desiree, you home already? I guess no. Okay, well, 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 well. Well, guys, uh, we are going to do, we're going to modify a little bit of the activities because I have something prepared and the situation changed a little bit, but don't worry. We always got plan A, plan B, plan C, all the alphabet.
And don't worry, we're going to solve some exercises because there's a lot to do. I mean, today we are going to work with some prepositions. Uh, we are going to have a conversation. It's going to be nice. We're going to practice with what time and we are going to practice with uh, We are going to also practice the prepositions of place, of location. But first, we're going to start with what time, okay? That's going to be very easy. Okay, let's see. How to use questions with what time? We have what time? What time is it? The answer is one o eight. Second example, what time does the meeting start? It starts at 11 o'clock. What time do you arrive at work? At, you can say at 6, 48 a.m. or you can say at about or about 6.48 a.m. What time do employees leave? Usually around 7 or 7.30. I repeat. What time is it? It's one away. What time does the meeting start? It starts at 11 o'clock. What time do you arrive at work? About 6.48 a.m. At 6.48 a.m. At about 6.48 a.m. What time do employees leave? Usually around 7 or 7.30. Okay, now the exercise. Complete the questions using what time and do or does. Practice the conversations with a classmate. There is a recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. Really? What time does, in this case, does because the subject you see is it. What time does it start? So in this case, should be like this. Really? Look. What time does it start? What time does it start? It starts at 9 a.m. So what is your exercise? You are going to complete the five and you need to practice the conversations with a classmate. So let's see, we're gonna do it like this. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna get you in groups
and we are going to do the exercises. Just let me get the groups ready because today we are going to do something different. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. Katia, you ready? Okay, groups are open. Let's do the exercise, please. Okay, great, great. Catherine is here and Claudia is here. So let's send Catherine to room number two. Hello, guys. Let me check the rest of the groups.
Hola, hello teacher. Hello. Creo que las demás no se han conectado. Yo solo estoy trabajando. Okay, you can do the exercise on your own, and we are go I'm going to come back again so we can practice the conversations. Okay. Hágalos usted y regreso luego para que practiquemos la pronunciación. De acuerdo, teacher. Perfect, thank you. Uh, nice to meet. Teacher, una consulta. Yes. Vaya, por lo menos, cuando aquí dice, there is a recruitment of new employees, cuando dice, really, puedo poner, what time does, does it start? Yes, what time does it start? Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Ok, ok, thank you, teacher. Sí, pero ¿a qué horas? ¿A qué hora cierra el, el restaurante aquí? Entonces sería como... What I... Mm. Ah, teacher. What? <laughs> como disfruta, mírenle la sonrisa. Oh, yeah. Angry. No, no, no. I'm so sorry. I'm going to move one of you. Perdón, te voy a intercambiar a uno de ustedes. All right, it's going to be Rebecca. Rebecca, you're going to go to another group, okay? Okay. So there's just going to be you, Atenas, and Ana Marisa. Okay. You okay. finish? No. La cuatro. Vamos por la cuatro, pero... Ay, es que yo me enredo, teacher. ¿Cómo estás? Y el... Sí. Number four, okay. Wendy. Do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? Yes, but what time do... Porque, ah, ya porque ves. dice restaurants. Eso, ¿no? Restaurants es plural. De plural, ¿verdad? Yeah. Está hablando de ellos. Entonces también la tres es what time do, porque está hablando de la está hablando en singular. Number three, tomorrow I have to go to the photocopy center. Me too. What time does? Because it's just one photocopy center. Does. Yes. Creo que tengo un gran problema. No, no sé identificar el do y el da. Vaya, es que acuérdese, do aplica. Primera persona del singular, segunda persona del singular y los plurales. Uh -huh. Para que lo tenga más fácil, acuérdese, das aplica para él, 
ella o eso. Ajá, pero en este caso en particular, vaya, le está diciendo que mañana eh, I have got to the photocopy center. Uh -huh. Entonces, como que va a ir mañana a la fotocopiadora y entonces el otro le dice también yo. Uh -huh. Pero la pregunta le dice... ¿A qué hora cierra? Ajá. ¿El qué? ¿A qué hora cierra La fotocopiadora. Qué? ¿Cuántas? Una. Es tercera persona porque es un algo, ¿verdad? Sí. Es it. un it. Y it. para it, ¿cuál utilizamos? ¿Do o das? Das. Das. You see, it's simple. Ay. You know it, you know it. Usted me dio la respuesta, yo no le dije. Entonces es, what time does. Ajá, exactly. es que eso es lo que me daba no. dificultad entender cuál era el, el, el sujeto. La estructura me dice que en una pregunta viene la WH question, luego viene. En este caso, la WH was what time. Luego viene el auxiliar y luego el sujeto. Quiere decir que el sujeto es el que nos están dando ahí. The photocopy center. Eso es el sujeto. Mm. Oh. The restaurants. Eso es el sujeto. Ajá. Ándale. Ok. Estás la cuatro. Ah, the paramentos. Sí. What time does, does. what time does. Hoy sí, mire, hoy sí ya me quedó claro. Las cinco. Thank you. You're welcome. Ajá, las cinco es esa, mi Marisa. What time does they open? Open. Hablando del departamento de los departamentos, ¿verdad? Ajá. Es plural. Exacto. Entonces estás. Uh -huh. Ok. Ajá. What time? Estás. Ah, pues hoy sí ya terminamos. What I dance? Eh, now, now practice the conversations. Ahora practicarlas. Ah, oh, ok. Vaya, mi amarita. Vaya. La uno. Ajá. Y... Quería... Usted la. <risa> ya vi por qué, mi amarita. Esa <risa> palabra, teacher. ¿Cuál? Reclutamiento. Recruitment, recruitment. Recruitment. There is a recruitment. There is recruitment of a new employee. Recruitment. Recruit, recruitment. Recruitment. Con T. Como si dijera recruitment. Yeah, recruitment. Recruitment. Ay, ok. There is a recruitment of a new recruit, employees. Recruit, recruit. Recruitment. Uh -huh. Ok, voy de nuevo. There is a recruitment of a new employees of Tuesday. On Tuesday. Mi amarita. Really? What I do? It starts. It starts at 9 a.m. Tajati, check it out. Very good. <laughs> If I didn't comment, it's because it's nice. Si yo no dije nada, porque está bien. Esmeralda is here with you guys. Vaya mi amarita. Que no la ponga nerviosa, Pichi. Sí, sí, okay. se pone nerviosa. <ríe> Vaya, Esme vamos de nuevo. Atenas, Atenas. Esmeralda is just here. She just arrived. Acaba de venir. Ah, ok. 
Teacher en la en la cuatro podría ser what time does they open? Ah, okay, veamos. Number four. Tomorrow I have to go to the photocopy center. ¿A dónde tengo que ir? Oh, I'm sorry. Number four. No. Number four. Es sobre el, le pregunta. Wendy. Uh -huh. Wendy, do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? Yes, but. ¿Qué, what, ¿cuál time? Es su what time? What time? What time does they up? Uh, what, time, okay. what time does the store close her? Yes, but what time restaurants? Es el sujeto, ¿verdad? Sí. Ajá. Cuando digo restaurants, estoy hablando singular o plural. Singular. Tiene una S al final. Restaurants. Restaurants. Um, plural. 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 Ok. Uh -huh. ¿Cuándo utilizo das? Cuando es plural. No. Singular. El do okay, es guys. plural y el, y el okay, das okay, 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 ok, 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 ok. Miren. We'll explain this. I, you, we, they, estos utilizan do. Do. Okay. Ah, sí. What can you do? Right? Okay. And when I say, y cuando digo, he, she, it, in this case, I use das. Okay, ahora recordemos, what is he? What is she and what is it? He is el, ¿verdad? She? Es ella. Ok. It? ¿Se refiere a una cosa o no. un animal? No, una cosa o un animal. Ok. Entonces, estos son tercera persona del singular. Él, ella, eso. Son los que utilizan das. Cuando hablo de un restaurante, estoy hablando de un singular. Cuando digo restaurants, no es un algo, no. son varios algo. Es they. Uh -huh. Cuando digo los restaurantes, estoy diciendo ellos. Las, uh -huh. ellas, ¿verdad? Estos utilizan do. ¿Ok? Okay. Do we understand now? ¿Entendemos ahora? Sí. Yes. Sería entonces, what time do? What time do, sí. Sí, ¿verdad, teacher? Yeah. What time do? The restaurant. No, they, no, no. The restaurant. Okay. Okay. En el day no lo utilizamos, ¿por qué? Porque la palabra restaurants es el sujeto. Recuérdese que yo les pongo, yo les explicaba, que yo les pongo a ustedes eh, los pronombres, porque el pronombre es fácil de identificar. Y yo les explicaba que usted puede utilizar o un pronombre o un nombre, pero no los dos. En este caso ya tenemos un nombre, restaurantes. ¿Ok? But I'm going to explain it again for everybody, don't worry. Lo voy a explicar de nuevo para todos, ¿ok? Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Bye, Alice. Hello. 
Hello, Marvin. You home already? Ya en casa? Ya, ya, démosle, démosle, que me excluyó del grupo usted. No, I guess the system kicked you out. Creo que el sistema me lo sacó, my friend. No, yo me he venido bien y después ya no oigo nada, dije. Sí, ahorita lo voy a conectar la compu. Espérame, solo voy a pasarme a la compu. No problem, no problem. Quiero conectarme a la compu para estar más. Dos dólares recargas. Sí, hoy sí. Si me saco los 50, te voy a ayudar para Shh, la clase. Para afuera. Okay, let's see. Katia, welcome. Esmeralda, nice having you here. Welcome. Gracias. Hi, Esmeralda. A pleasure. Gracias. Okay, okay, guys. Hey, before I move on, antes que me que continue, on Sunday, el domingo, I'll be sending messages. El domingo me voy a sentar a ver dos minutos de nuevo y le voy a estar mandando mensajes, okay? To let you know how we're doing with minutes. Para hacerles saber cómo vamos con los minutos, because... Ah, eso you know. iba a preguntar, teacher, que vea cómo vamos, porque yo no, no, no he perdido mucho. Yeah, yeah, but... Claro, uh, si solo que a veces sí vengo en el grupo. Yeah, no problem. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, according to averages... Uh, no, Marvin, we are okay. Marvin, it's okay. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> bueno, dígame cómo vamos, porque así estoy más pendiente. Okay. Igual le iba a pedir que me ayudara, pero después le voy a decir con terminar la clase. No. Sorry. Let's continue. Okay, okay, okay. Well, the exercise was kind of tricky. So I'm going to do a little something. El ejercicio como que estuvo un poquito complicadito para el And we are going to do a little something. Vamos a hacer un, algo ahí. I told you the other day. Se lo mencioné el otro día. For me, no problem. I repeat as many times as necessary. Por mí no hay problema. Yo repito las veces que sea necesario. These are the bases. Okay? And the bases are the ones that I want clear. Crystal clear. Estas son las bases. ¿Ok? Y las bases son las que tenemos que llevar claritas, claritas, claritas. So, don't worry. I'm going to explain. We're going to understand it. And it's going to be fine. ¿Ok? Ok. Now. Eh, today, perhaps, we cannot cover everything program. Quizás no podamos cubrir todo lo programado. But, uh, I will make do next week. Yo... Lo voy a reponer la próxima semana. But this topic, I need it to be clear. So, if you understand it, bear with me. Si usted ya lo entendió, téngame paciencia. Because it's going to be good practice for you anyway. Será buena práctica el repasarlo. I'm going to explain again the simple present. El presente simple. In the, the, the whole idea. Toda la idea. But I'm going to be very punctual in the aspects that are a little bit difficult for some of you. Voy a enfatizar aquellos aspectos que he denotado que nos están dando un poquito de lata, ¿ok? So, let's see. Vamos a trabajar con la pizarra blanca. Voy a ir escribiendo ahí. Usted preocúpese por prestar atención nada más porque eh, yo luego les comparto la imagen. Ok. Before we move on, let me get their attendance. Antes de continuar, let me get their attendance. Ana Maritza Flores Arbellón. Present. Angélica Guadalupe Tobar de Melgar. Braulio Enrique Hernández Sosa. Brian Alexander Rivas Sánchez. Gabriela Guadalupe Celaya. I'm sorry. Claudia Teresa Flamenco. 
Elisa Saraí Martínez Ramírez. Present. Esmeralda Lisbeth Vázquez Silva. Present, teacher. Gabriela Guadalupe Celaya Sáenz. Karen de Sire Mengíbar de Sánchez. Catherine Beatriz Morales Calzadilla. Katia Estefanía Pineda Alvarado. Thank you, Present Catherine. Teacher. Thank you, Katia. María Teresa González de Lemos. Marvin Gabriel Romero Cubillas. Present teacher. Milton Antonio García Castellano. Mirna Atenas Vanega Zamora. Present. Rebeca de Carmen Morales Molina. Present teacher. Víctor Manuel Reyes Carvajal, Encio Mara Chamilet, Mendoza, Mendoza. Present teacher. Okay, guys. Well, let's let's see. We come to the whiteboard. Let's start with the very, very basics. Okay, comenzamos con lo básico. Pronouns. Personal pronouns. Pronombres personales. What are these things? ¿Qué son estas cosas? Personal pronouns are I, you, um, he, mm -hmm. she, it, yeah. we, yeah. you, yes. they. Okay, so, something very important, algo muy importante. He, she, and it. Okay, when we talk about he, she, and it, esto, cuando yo hablo de él, de ella, de un objeto o de un animal. Escuche, uno. Estos son tercera persona singular. ¿Ok? This is... Third person singular. Tercera persona del singular. Ok, now, ¿por qué estoy enfatizando esto? Ya les explico. Ok, third person singular. Are these. Son estos. Ok, now, we are talking about simple present. Estamos hablando del presente simple. In simple present, we have auxiliary. ¿Cuándo se utiliza el auxiliar? El auxiliar es in negative and interrogative. El auxiliar se utiliza en la forma negativa e interrogativa. ¿Ok? What is the auxiliary? The auxiliary is do does. ¿Hasta aquí vamos bien? Guys. Ok. We got do and does. Now. ¿Cuándo utilizamos do? ¿Cuándo utilizamos does? Remember. If I'm talking about I. If I'm talking about you, if I'm talking about we, if I'm talking about they, in these cases, I'm going to use do. En estos casos, yo voy a utilizar do. Ok.
Now, when I'm talking, cuando yo hablo about he, she, and they, in these cases, I'm going to use das. Oops, I'm sorry, my bad, perdón, mi error. It was he. It was he, she, he. Sorry, guys, perdón. In these cases, I use does. When I'm talking about he, when I'm talking about she, or when I'm talking about it. Oh, sorry to speak in Spanish. Perdón que les hable en español. Normalmente se los ponemos y se los explicamos con los pronombres personales porque es más fácil de identificar. Pero recuérdese que el pronombre sustituye a un nombre. La función del pronombre es esa. Sustituir a un nombre. En el caso de restaurantes, restaurants, ¿qué pronombre es el que estamos sustituyendo? Cuando digo restaurants, con esa S a the end, S, es plural. Y esto, si se acuerdan, es singular. Y singulares usan das. Entonces, en ese caso yo estoy hablando de ellos o ellas. They do. ¿Ok? What time do restaurants? Cuando hablo de the photocopying center, de la fotocopiadora, el lugar donde están las fotocopiadoras, es singular. Hablo de uno solo, es un lugar, es un algo, es it. Ah, y yo sé que para cuando estoy hablando de la tercera persona del singular, yo utilizo das. Si usted se fija, estamos hablando de esto, ¿verdad? He, she, or it, das. Entonces, something that we must remember Algo que debemos recordar es esto. The sentence. What time does the class start? Subject. ¿Cuál es el sujeto acá? The class. Right? What is the class? ¿Qué es la clase? ¿Cuántas clases digo? One. Una, ¿verdad? Esto yo lo podría sustituir por it. It could be substituted. Podría ser sustituido por it. Por ende, whenever I use it, cuando yo uso it, yo sé que el auxiliar va a ser does. Now, the next one. What time do restaurants open? Okay. When I am talking about restaurants, this is the subject. This is the subject. Okay. Restaurants. Si hablo de los restaurantes, I'm talking about, eso podría ser sustituido por they. Ah, and we know, y nosotros sabemos que cuando hablamos de they, el auxiliar es do. So, this is what we need to identify. Esto es lo que nos va a guiar. The subject, el sujeto. Now, 
remember, not all the time you're going to find pronouns. Not all the time van a encontrar pronombres. In these examples, you didn't find pronouns. In estos ejemplos, you didn't find pronouns. But the noun, you need to remember what can it be substitute for. Usted tiene que recordar con qué podría sustituirse. Got it? Preguntas? Okay, now let's make an exercise. Okay, guys, I have this sentence. What time Marvin get home? What is the auxiliary? What is the auxiliary in this case? Help me out. Do or does? Seria does. Okay. What time is that? Por qué? Por qué? Bueno, a lo que he medio entendido es que estamos hablando de los pronombres en singular. Como esta vez tercera, que sería he. Ajá. Cuando yo hablo de Marvin, yo estoy hablando he, ¿verdad? Exacto. Ok, so what time does he Marvin? Ya no pongo he, ¿por qué no pongo Exacto, he? Exacto, lo, lo sustituye. Exacto, porque es el nombre que está sustituyendo el pronombre. Perfect. Now, look at this one. Okay. What time Atenas and Maritza connect to class? Let's see, guys. Tell me, what am I going to use in this case? ¿Qué voy a utilizar en este caso? Do or does? Does. Why? ¿Por qué Atenas? No, porque está hablando de ellas. Ah, okay. I'm sorry. Ah, porque hablo de ellas. They, right? Y cuando sí. hablo de they, I use do. So, what time do Atenas and Maritza connect to class? Okay. Questions? Preguntas? Come on, guys. Pregunta, yep, go ahead. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Eh, en la segunda oración que se puso, lo time me do Atenas San Marisa. Siempre que sea ella, es un ejemplo que se, sería do. A ver, no. repítame. Repítame, repítame. No, la consulta que es que si, siempre que vaya, que hable de ellas, sería do o no. Oh. Sí, lo que pasa es esto, que en inglés no existe el género, el, eh, no hay un artículo que defina masculino o femenino. No en este caso. Ellos y ellas es la misma. Oh. They. Nosotros en español tenemos ellos y ellas, Exacto. dos palabras distintas. Pero en inglés, they. Esa oh. incluye ambos, ellos y ellas. Ah, y ese lo sustituye el nombre de... No. No, el nombre no lo sustituimos. No, el pronombre es la cosa. No. Doesn't change, no cambia. Ok. okay. Any other questions? ¿Hay otra pregunta? 
Guys. Hello. Come on, this is the moment. This is the moment. Hoy es cuando decirme vuelto. Let's tell me, tell me, tell me. Read it. Analyze it. No preocupen por copiarlo. I'm going to send it to you. Are we okay? Yes, Esmeralda. Tell me. My, uh, para do sería are you with they? Lo seríamos mm -hmm. con esa. Y para do es lo seríamos con he, she, it. Sí, das, das. Das, ah, das. Oh, okay. Y, si, y según una estructura, ¿cuál sería? Para como que no queramos como una estructura. De oh. cómo. La estructura que hemos tenido siempre. El tú más el sujeto más el verbo en forma base okay. más el complemento. Vea, la W es que ya dijimos que va a ir al inicio ahora, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Porque le hemos agregado un integrante más. WH plus auxiliary. ¿Verdad? Plus subject. El sujeto. Plus complement. Plus question. Ok. Now, let's see. WH. What time? Now. Auxiliary. Yes. Does or do? Yes. Subject. No, Marvin. Marvin. And then we have complement. And then the question mark, right? Por último, the question mark. That's the structure. La estructura no cambió, mire, auxiliar, sujeto, complemento, question mark. Lo único que le hemos agregado es la WH at the beginning. Ok, esa quería saber. La de arriba. Gracias. Ok, guys. No more. Okay, perfect. Let's see. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to send it to you guys. Hello, Andrea. There you go. So you can review it, practice it, and copy it down if you want to copy down slowly on your own time, relax. So if you want to copy it and revise it later, more relaxed, no problem. Okay. Now let's do the exercise. Vamos al ejercicio. Okay, there is a recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. Really? Okay, let's see. Number one. 
Uh, Ana Maritza in Atenas, please, number one. Pronunciation and tell me the sentence, okay? Yeah, Maritza. Hello. I'm star. There is a recruitment of a new employees on Tuesday. No, no me veo muy bien las preguntas. Tengo, se me ve borroso. Es lo que les envié, el ejercicio que hemos hecho. Ah, ok, perdón. Yeah, really, what I do is start. Okay. It, it starts at 9 a.m. Okay. Ana Maritza, what time does it? Does. Sí, porque si se recuerda lo que les acabo de explicar, cuando yo uso... Yes. Yes. Das, right? Okay, thank you. Number okay. two, let's see, let's see. Number two, Esmeralda and Marvin. Okay. You start, Marvin. Marvin. Okay. Al eh, sería, let me for the main meeting on meeting. Wednesday. Meeting on Wednesday, create sería. No, 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 no. This is for Esmeralda. Esmeralda, please. Great. 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 What time? What time do? Do you arrive? Uh-huh, Marvin. I arrive. Arrive at 8.15. 8, 8, 15. 15. Perfect. Excellent. Number three, let's see. Rebecca and Xiomara. Rebecca, you start. Okay. Tomorrow, I have to go to the photocop center. Me too. What time does the photocopy center open? It's open. And uh, at six, six, fifty, six, fifty, 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 and a.m. Oh. Okay, perfect. Now, Katia and Esmeralda, number four. Katia, uh, you start. Ya, no, no se me yo. No. No. <laughs> okay. Wendy, do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? Yes, but, yes, but. Um, what time? What time? What time? <laughs> yes, what time does, does restaurant close here? Okay. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, around seven, uh, 25. 25. Okay, perfect. Now, 25. Esmeralda, look. Look, Esmeralda, what time do? Oops, sorry. What time do? Look. Restaurants. Restaurants. You see, restaurants 
plural. Estoy hablando de ellos, ellas, los restaurantes. Es un plural. Y acordemos que el das se utiliza solo para la tercera persona del singular. Then we have to use do. ¿Ok? Perfect. Now, um, Rebecca en Atenas. Atenas, number five. You start, Atenas. Amanda has to take some report to many departments on Monday. And what time do they open? They open around uh, 7.30 or 8.00. Perfect. Excellent. Very well done. Let me repeat for you guys. Number one. There is a recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. Really? What time does it start? It starts at 9 a.m. Let's meet for a meeting on Wednesday. Great. What time do you arrive? I arrive at 8.15 a.m. Number three. Tomorrow, I have to go to the photocopy center. Me too. What time does the photocopy center open. It opens at 6.50 a.m. Number four. Wendy, do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? Yes, but what time do restaurants close here? Oh, around 7.25 p.m. Amanda, has to take some reports to many departments on Monday. And what time do they open? They open around 7.30 or 8.05. Questions? Okay, guys. Okay, now guys, I need you to make a small schedule, okay? With all the things that you have to do during the week. Now, what do you want you to do? You're going to write your activities, the date and the time, like, at least I need you to make a, something like this, look. I need you to write down. On Monday, one activity that you do on your job on Monday. One activity you do on your job on Tuesday. One activity you do on your job on Wednesday. I want one activity per day of the week, okay? That's a homework, okay? Remember, I just want one, or if you want two activities per day, una o dos actividades por día. I want you to include the whole week. Don't write the same activity every day, please. I know that sometimes, I mean, our jobs are routine. Yo sé que nuestros trabajos son routine, all right? But that's why I just want one or two activities because you say, you can tell me one activity that you do early in the morning, one activity you do like, uh, you can tell me on Wednesday, I take, uh, a cup of coffee at 10 a.m. Uh, you tell me on Saturday, I have lunch at 2 p.m. You got it? Do you understand the homework? That's a homework. Write it down, make a list, okay? Write it down and send the picture to me. Now, let's continue.
Perdón, teacher, ¿para cuándo es la tarea? Monday. Ah, ok. Thank you. Ok, guys. Now, we are going to go to exercise number three. The homework, please try to do it. Traten de traerme esa tarea porque lo vamos a usar el lunes para una actividad, ok? For a conversation that we are going to have. So, you are going to need your information to share with your partners, ok? So, we are going to use it here. Yes, Katia? Teacher, entonces, ¿las actividades va a ser de lunes a viernes o de lunes a domingo? Las dos actividades o una o dos it, actividades. It depends, it depends, because some of you work on weekends, right? Algunos de ustedes trabajan el fin de semana. So what I want are work days. Lo que quiero son días de trabajo. Okay. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, like, you know, Atenas, she just works from Monday to Friday. She says Saturdays, she rest. El sábado dice que descansa. So she's just going to tell me from Monday to Friday, five days. That's what I want, five days, okay? But working days. Quiero cinco días, pero días que usted trabaja. Got it? Don't tell me your day off because if you remember, we already talked about the day off. Si se recuerdan, ya hablábamos del día libre. And you did a homework. Well, some of you did. Algunos me lo entregaron. But you did it. Okay? Sorry, guys. My throat is pretty dry and I drink a lot of water. Como mucha agua. Okay, let's continue. Now, conversations, little conversations. This is something that I like. Next exercise, we go back to the manual. We got exercise number three, page number 35. Ask a different partner these questions and write the answers. When is your next meeting? What time do you arrive to work? When are your next vacation? Aquí hay un typo, aquí hay un error de... The question in this case must be, when is your next vacation? Okay. When is? Right here. Creo que fue un error de error. When is your next vacation? So, this is not correct. So, you're going to ask your classmate, when is your next meeting? What time do you arrive to work? When is your next vacation? These three questions you are going to be asking your classmates, okay? Esa pregunta se la vamos a preguntar a los compañeros. So, we're going to go work in groups again. Groups are open. Hello, ladies. I'm going to send you to another group just for you to listen, okay? Thank you. 
Ah, ahí están las preguntas ya. Ay, pero salieron al revés. <risa> sí, es que le tomé. Quiero ver si puedo otra vez. I am sending it right now. Yo la estoy enviando. Ah, ok. Mm. Be patient, ladies. <laughs> There you go. I'm open there. Ya está. Ay, mi computadora. Vaya. Vamos a contestar. Comencemos. Este, si quiere, usted cambia. Vaya. Bueno. ¿Cuándo es tu próxima reunión? Me decía. Uh -huh. Así. ¿Cómo pongo? Mayor, um, es una reunión mensual, pero no sabemos el día que la tenemos. Solo es mensual. Once a month. Ponga ley. Once a month. Una vez al mes. Once, like once, sí. once, once a month. A month. A month. Once. Once. Una vez al mes. Once, once a month. Una vez. In months, dijo, ¿verdad? Once in months, dijo. Ah, once a month. month. Once, once a month. month. Once a month. Once a month. Vamos a ver si está bien. Ah, ahí está. Once a month. Ahí está. Vaya, ¿a qué hora llega a trabajar? Bueno, esta semana es de mi semana de cierre. 11 a.m. A las 11 a.m. 11. Ahí no aplica cuando uno pone 11 o'clock. You can say 11 o'clock. You can say 11 sharp. You can say 11 a.m. Entonces aplica para esas tres cosas. ¿sí? Yep. Yes. Ah, pues 11 o'clock. O'clock. ¿Cuándo es tu próxima vacación? Es 14, 15, 15. Eh, 16 de septiembre. Septiembre 16, así se dice. ¿Qué? ¿Cuál es tu próxima vacación? Septiembre 16. Vaya, ya está la mía. Vaya, Esmeralda. Sí, ok. Um, La primera es, perdón. La primera es, when is your next meeting? Yo no tengo reuniones. I don't have any meeting. Ah, okay. I don't have any meeting. I don't have any meeting. Entonces, I don't have, I don't have. Any, 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 y when is your next vacation? My next vacation is for October. Creo que eso sería. In October. In October. Ok. Bien, Marisa. No. Hola, ay, 
la número uno, pues, de repente se programan las reuniones. ¿Cómo sería? Ok. At any given time. Let me text it for you. I have meetings at any given time. I have meetings at any given time. Yep. Okay. How much being cut out this Okay. <laughs> Number one. A qué hora llega? A qué hora llegas al trabajo? Es la segunda. Sí. Yep. Uh, I. I do. Yeah. I I I do arrive uh, at seven uh, seven o'clock. I arrive. Arrive to work seven o'clock. At seven o'clock. Uh -huh. I do. No, quíteme el do. El do se usa en negativos. O interrogativos. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bichos. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> y cuando oh. digamos que es como de, eh, horario de que nunca se llega siempre a la misma hora, podría ser, podría ponerse solo una hora, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. sí. O se puede poner a usually. Seven seven o seven I usually seven arrive 30. at seven o'clock. Uh -huh. Usually arrive <laughs> right. seven o'clock, right? At Arrive. seven o'clock. At seven o'clock. Okay. I and I are arrive Every day, todos los días. Uh -huh. Seven o'clock. At seven o'clock. At seven o'clock. At seven o'clock. And you, Marvin? Eh, mi sería arrive, arrive at the court at six, six a.m. Six a.m. A las 6 a.m. Mañana a porque seis. la reunión. Ah, no, pero dice de que cada hora llega la, usualmente a su trabajo, no mañana. Pero como es parte del trabajo, digamos. Sí, 6.30. Y cuando le toca cierre, llega a las 10. No. Toca apertura, cierre. Todos los días de apertura no, cierre. Cuando, cuando Jenny hace apertura, yo dentro de las 10. Tiene que ser usual. Usually. Usually at 7 o'clock. Usually at 7 o'clock. Y la otra es cuando son sus próximas vacaciones. En mi en August. Exacto, en agosto también. Del Pero si la puntual, ¿verdad? 
pero si la dan puntual. Ah. No, pero como tiene seis meses para darlo. Esta, Rebeca. Sí, si hay quien le cubre, se le dan. My next sería. My next vacation. Uh -huh. September. En September. In September. In September. Marvin. En August. August. ¿Cómo? August. 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 Espera. A mí, como me la, a mí me la dan compartida, pero como las próximas van a ser en August. August. Vaya, ahora practique, practice. 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 Vaya. Marvin. Pregunte. When is your next meeting? My next meeting will be tomorrow. ¿Sería así o no? ¿Está bien? Teacher. My next meeting will be tomorrow. Mm -hmm. My next... <laughs> My next meeting will be tomorrow. My next me meeting will be tomorrow. Meeting tomorrow. My next. My next. La otra pregunta, compañero. A ver si lo digo bien. What time do you arrive to work? Arrive at work and. 6.30 se dice. 6.30. No, at 6.30. When... Clock es cuando la hora es en punto, o sea, 00 cero minutos. Ah. Ok, sería at 6. At 6 o'clock or at 6.30. At 6.30. Okay. When is your next vacation? My next vacation will be in August. August. Okay. Como dijo? My next ¿qué? vacation? Vacation in will be in August. 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 Okay. Nunca me pasaba. Ajá, en Spanish. I thought you were practicing. No, ya practicamos. Ya practicamos, tío. Ok, let's go practice together then. Vamos a practicar juntos. To the main room. Ok.
Well, I am sorry if it, you were too long in the, in the rooms. Lo siento si estuvieron mucho tiempo en the rooms. But it was important for all of you to practice. Now, uh, today's class has been a little bit slow because we make a review of the simple present, but it was necessary. Right in this moment, I am sending to you a, a, a document for you to read. That document, it's going to be analyzed in next class, okay? There you go. It's a grammar explanation that we are going to analyze next class. Le acabo de enviar un documento, es una explicación gramatical que la vamos a analizar la próxima clase. It was supposed to be analyzed today. Se suponía que lo íbamos a trabajar ahora, but we needed to reinforce the other topic. We did. Teníamos, era necesario reforzar el otro tema. And we have to do it, we did it. It's not a problem for us with our plan. No es mucho problema with our lesson plans because uh, Monday's class is vocabulary practice. La clase de lunes es uh, práctica de vocabulario. So we are going to do the vocabulary practice, but and also we are going to do the grammar explanation, okay? Vamos a ambas cosas. Don't worry, but I'm sorry, the, we needed to, to, to reinforce the simple present, the use of the auxiliary do and does. It's mand it was mandatory. Era necesario el reforzar ese temita. Okay? So, uh, well, let's see. We also have a couple of questions, right? So, when is your meeting? When do you usually have meetings, Atenas? I have a meeting at any given time. Okay, at any given time. At any given time. En cualquier momento, cualquier hora. Okay. It's correct. Perfect. Thank you. Xiomara. Xiomara, tell me what time? My next you... meeting. Oh, okay. Tell me, tell me. No, tell me, what time do you have meetings? Yep. Okay. My next meeting tomorrow. Okay. Oh. Ah, pero, pero, perdón. I... Perdón, perdón. No, es I, I next meeting uh, a Monday. Okay, my next meeting is on Monday. Perfect, thank you. Katia, what time do you arrive to work? I, um, this, um, um, I, arrive, I arrive at 11 o'clock. Oh my gosh. Ooh, you sleep late. <laughs> nice. Yes. I envy you. Envidia. Yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 it varies. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Marvin. Marvin, when is your next vacation? My next vacation will be in August. Oh. Will be in August. Perfect. Excellent. Rebecca, what time do you arrive to work? I arrive every day seven o'clock. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Esmeralda. Esmeralda, hello. Hello. Tell me, Esmeralda, when's your next vacation? Uh, my next, my next vacation in oh, October. 
October. Okay, is in October. Perfect. Uh -huh. Now let's see. Uh, 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 um. Ana Maritza. Hello. Tell me, Ana Maritza. Uh, when's your next meeting? At any evening. I'm sorry. At any given time. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. And tell me, Ana Maritza, what time do you arrive to work? At work. In eight o'clock. Okay, perfect. Now let's see, uh, 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 Catherine, you're around. No, oh, okay, Rebecca. Tell me, teacher. What time do you have lunch? I my lunch. Mm -hmm. At what time? Um, at? At. <laughs> I may launch at. Uh, one, um, 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Atenas, what about you? At what time do you usually have lunch? I have a lunch at uh, 12 o'clock. Okay, right on time. Excellent, excellent. And tell me, Atenas, at what time do you usually have breakfast? Um, I have breakfast at 7 a.m. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Marvin. Willie. What time do you have breakfast, Marvin? I have, I have repeat, repeat. At what time do you have breakfast? Breakfast, breakfast desayuno. My breakfast. I is, have breakfast. My have breakfast. At uh, 11 a.m. At 11 11 a.m. El, des, el desayuno a las 11. Sí, yes. Okay. Cool. Okay, Katia, what time do you usually go to bed? Um, you usually sleep. Mm, oh, me está diciendo que a qué hora me duermo, me levanto en la mañana. Go to sleep. Ah, okay. Ah, pues, uh, I sleep. I go to sleep. I go, I go to sleep. El, a las once y media, eleven, three p.m. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Wow. Eleven thirty. That's early. Well, for me, it's early, but I missed that time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what about you, Xiomara? What time do you go to sleep? I I sleep in... I go to sleep. I go to sleep is in... At? 11, at 11 o'clock or, or in 12 o'clock. Oh, okay. Midnight, medianoche. Midnight. Oh. Yeah, midnight is okay. Midnight is acceptable. But 11, it's too early. Okay, let's see, let's see. Ana Maritza, what time do you go to sleep? 
Repeat. At what time do you go to sleep? Eleven o'clock. Okay, at eleven o'clock. Mm, that's early. Yes. Okay, Atenas, tell me when's your birthday? My bear, my birthday is um, two. Oh no, May two. In May two. Okay. May the second. May the second. May second. Okay, yes. In English, we don't say two. We say first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Okay? I will okay. explain that next class. Don't worry. Eso se lo explico la próxima clase. Don't worry. But we don't say one, two, three. We say primero, segundo, tercero, first, second, third. Okay? Like, I was born in December 17. Listen, December 17th. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's time. I'm sorry, guys. That's why Xiomara was looking at me like, mm, it's time, it's time. Let me get the final attendance, okay? Oh, where's the list? Where's the list? Oh, it's right here. Ana Maritza Flores Arbellón. Present. Angélica Guadalupe Tobar de Melgar. Braulio Enrique Hernández Sosa. Brian Alexander Rivas Sánchez. Claudia Teresa Flamenco. Elisa Saraí Martínez Ramírez. Esmeralda Present. Lisbeth Vázquez Silva. Thank you, Elisa. Present. Thank you, Esmeralda. Esmeralda, you were here and I didn't ask you. I'm so sorry. Perdón, Esmeralda. Como no tenía la cámara encendida, no me preocupé. I'm so sorry. My apologies. Me disculpas. Thank you. Gabriela Guadalupe Celaya Sayas. Karen de Sire Mengíbar de Sánchez. Catherine Beatriz Morales Calzadilla. Katia Estefanía Pineda Alvarado. Present teacher. María Teresa González de Lemus. Marvin Gabriel Romero Cubillas. Present teacher. Milton Antonio García Castellano. Mirna Atenas Vanega Zamora. Present. Rebeca del Carmen Morales Molina. Present teacher. Víctor Manuel Reyes Carvajal. Xiomara Chamilet Mendoza Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good night. See you Monday. Don't forget the homework and don't forget to check out the presentation, okay? The, the PDF. No olviden la tarea y no olviden darle una leidita al PDF. Don't worry. El lunes lo explico, okay? Have a good weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Marvin, you had a question, you told me, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, let me see. Bye, Samara. Teacher, yes. a mí me dijo ayer que me iba a quedar. Sí, 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 solo que Marvin tenía una dudita nada más. Ah, vaya, perro, Rapidito, rapidito, bye. rapidito. No, no se me vaya, no se me vaya. Ah, bueno. Dígame, Marvin. No, le iba a consultar, dicho igual, como que me dijo, ¿verdad? Que si alguna cosita para que me facilitara un poquito más aprender más rápido, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Estaba revisando lo que usted me dijo en el... En la plataforma. Sí. Eh, vocabulary que me dijo usted. Uh -huh. Pero fíjese que no me deja abrirlo. Igual estaba okay. buscando, o oh, si usted tenía algo Mande, para que... Mándeme, mándeme, bueno, mándeme un mensaje el domingo, porque mañana no voy a estar bien? todo el día y no voy a tener la computadora. Mándeme un mensaje el domingo y yo le ayudo, ¿ok? Ok, está bien, gracias. You're welcome. Bye.
Okay, let's see. Xiomara. Okay, yeah, good evening. No, 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 no. Mira, tenemos 10 minutos asignados. Esos 10 minutos nos sirven al menos para ver si hay algún tema que no tengo claro, si necesita ayuda en un área específica o si quiere que le refuerce algo. Díganme mm. usted. Pues, la verdad, lo con lo que me ayudó bastante con lo de las oraciones, de que hay do, hay das. Y eso ah, sí está un poco confusa, pero ah, igual, es, hay cosas que sí me, me cuesta entender. Ok. Bueno, bueno eso es que nos hablo. Something that you must be aware of, algo de lo que debe estar consciente, is that, I mean, it's a basic one. Estamos en un básico uno, en... You come from zero, vienen de cero. And the class is like 80% is English. Es un 80% es inglés. It follows an objective. Sigue un objetivo. Through practice, de tanto escuchar algunas frases y expresiones, usted ya se acostumbró a ellas y ya su respuesta es automática. Like, uh, good evening, how was your day? Usted ya automáticamente, su mente ya no le traduce esa frase. Usted automáticamente le entiende y me responde en inglés, con el vocabulario, poco o mucho que usted tenga, pero ya me responde con inglés. Comienza a pensar en inglés. El objetivo de esto es que, a través de tanto y tanto darle lo mismo y lo mismo y lo mismo y la repetición se vuelva ya un reflejo. Entonces, cuando vamos Muy a estar bien. pensando en inglés. Sí, exacto. Pero para ello, yo necesito que ustedes le hagan frente a la parte más dura, que es de cero y de sopetón a full English. Obvio, se siente. Y por momentos puede ser un poquito frustrante. Y usted dice, ay, no entendí. Fíjese Pero por no momentos, tanto. por momentos usted se va a dar cuenta de que cuando se si entiende las frasecitas, automáticamente you feel good. Automáticamente uno se siente bien porque dice, hey, eso sí lo entendí. Eh, aquí es en básico 1, básico 2 y quizá al básico 3. Son los más duros. Los más duros porque requieren constancia. Requieren dedicación, requieren un poquito de empeño y requieren, suena raro, un poquito de humildad a veces. O sea, ser conscientes de que, ok, no lo sé y quiero aprenderlo. Me equivoqué y me volví a equivocar. Y a veces nos equivocamos hasta cuatro o cinco veces en lo mismo. Pero al final, de tanta vez que usted me dice, no entendí, de tanta vez que usted se equivoca, yo voy cambiando la manera de explicar. Si se fija este tema del do y el das, ya lo expliqué cuatro veces. Uh -huh. Y cada vez lo he explicado de una manera distinta. Lo que pasa es que como se dice, a veces este, lo escuchamos y luego, ah, pero no lo ponemos en práctica, ni tampoco lo practicamos, sino que hasta luego que venimos a la clase, y luego después cuando usted interviene y que nosotros estamos ahí dudando, es que usted nos ayuda y es donde empieza, que nos encuentra lo que no entendemos y es donde nos explica y, y nuevamente, porque yo hasta ahorita le, ahora sí, yo le, ya lo entendí, ya sé qué voy a poner cuando va. Eh, ok, los... and, and that's the idea, la idea es encontrar cuál le funciona a usted. Ahora bien, usted no captaba la gramática, pero la expresión sí, porque cuando yo le pregunto, what time do you have breakfast? Automáticamente. Usted la expresión. Usted el que yo le pregunto, ah, okay. por el desayuno. Pero si hay algo que usted no se fijó es que yo estoy utilizando toda la estructura a la hora de hacer la pregunta, what time do you Uh -huh. se fija estoy usando la estructura y su mente ya reconoce la estructura y le da una respuesta a la estructura lo que pasa es que a veces ya lo conocemos luego 
transformarlo al concepto que es la gramática, a veces eso nos volvemos un poquito más lento, pero sí lo he estado procesando y sí lo está entendiendo, solo que a un nivel un poquito más inconsciente. Ahora estamos pasando a que lo haga ya de una manera consciente. Hay algunos de ustedes que les gusta más poner las estructuras. Algunas de sus compañeras toman nota de cada estructura porque así les gusta trabajar. Ok, that's good. Eso es bueno. Okay. So, it's better if you practice through exercises. Es mejor si practicamos con los ejercicios. Okay. Exercise after exercise. Now, there's something else that I need to mention to you. Algo más que quiero mencionar. Let's see, and is this. And, and that cannot be recorded. Yes, no puede cargar. That's why. But don't worry, we are fine. We are fine. And remember, this is, you need to, to be constant. Continuous, slowly, slowly, little things, but constant, okay? Don't stop. No se okay. detiene. You started already, ya comenzó, keep on. Basic two is going to be like, wow, a lot of vocabulary. Mucho vocabulary. Basic two va a ser vocabulary and grammar. Pero cuando ya salte el basic four, va a sentir que... Estas estructuras, más el vocabulario que cogió acá, más otras expresiones que tuvo en otra clase, va a comenzar a tomar sentido y lo va a comenzar a usar. Como el good morning, el hello. Yeah. They're going to come to you automatically. But it's practice, 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 and practice. Okay. That's why every day I start. Si usted se fija ahora ya nadie comete el error de decirme good night al inicio de la clase. Uh -huh. Y nadie me dice good evening al final de la clase. Y eso es algo que a muchos de nosotros no nos explicaron cuando estábamos en la escuela, que good evening era salud y que good night era despedido. Right? Sí, eso sí, no. prácticamente en las dos despedidas es good night y good evening, como lo, lo, nos los enseñaron. Pero ah. más, no, para, más no lo interpretamos que uno era para llegar y el otro era para irse. Exactly. But now uh -huh. it comes automatically to you. Uh -huh. Right? So you see, little things, but they are building up. Son pequeñas cositas, pero van sumando. And sí. that's the idea. Semana. A pleasure. Si tiene algún punto específico, escríbame. Con gusto le mando información que le pueda ayudar. Ok. Ok. Thank you, teacher. No, no, a pleasure. Have a good night, take care. Puedo ir a sus clases también a la escuela, ¿va? Yes, yeah, sure. No problem. No problem. <laughs> Bye, take care. Sí. Bueno, y, ok. Pleasure having you here tonight. Have a good night, take care. Good night, good night teacher. See you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.